Last night was my first attempt at making stuffed artichoke. It was delicious. I'm not even gonna lie, the stuffed artichoke was delicious. Oh my god, it was so good. And I have one left, so I'm making it right now. Um, but it takes, I'm like boiling it in a pot. Hi, everybody. And it takes, um, an hour and a half they take a really long time to cook and that's why they're so filling because they're absorbing so much water all the time i mean all the time always all the water artichokes get all the water <laughs> but i think mine still has about 38 minutes left so i decided to just pop on here and connect with you all see how are you doing today let me know how are you doing today It's so good. I never believed that I could actually make stuffed artichokes. Um, and you know me, I'm very into like the whys. Like, why is this a thing? <laughs> like, who, as I'm doing it last night, I'm like, who the heck thought about this for the first time? But, you know, it's just like, it's good. Like, it just tastes delicious and it's, mm, it's so perfect. So, yeah, I've been having like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. I will absolutely share the recipe. It's very, very simple to be honest. And um, yeah, that's why I wanted to make it too because it was like very nostalgic for me. Like it brought me back to my childhood and um, that was like the last time that I really had them. So I just saw them in the store and was like, this is happening. Um, and yeah, something that I've been working on lately is um, releasing resistance to the present moment. Uh, yeah, of course, I'll share the recipe with you. Um, can you guys hear me okay if I put you down? I have some like heart chakra music in background because it's just like one of those days. <sighs> I've definitely been, um, I've been listening to mantras and soft, sweet, spiritual sounds a lot lately to help just like guide me more into my breath and the present moment. <sighs> Wherever we are, we can always breathe. We're always breathing. And allow ourselves to open up, releasing resistance to whatever, whatever exists in the present moment, whether it's happiness, whether it's sadness, motivation, inspiration, devastation, whatever is alive within you, whatever is flowing through you, it doesn't have to be one thing we have the ability to hold it all we can hold it all we can hold the pleasure and the pain and as we breathe and accept the present moment in all that it contains you might start to notice our shoulders as they melt down our back hello my love neighbor And the deeper we breathe into our belly, the more we invite our senses to open up, to allow us to experience our perspective, our unique perspective, the perspective that nobody has except for you, except for you. You are the only person that can see life through your eyes. And I know, I know it might seem lonely at times 
because it feels like nobody understands me. Nobody can ever understand what I'm thinking or what I've been through and how that has led me to this exact moment in time. But love, that is also your superpower. That is also what makes you you. Hello, hello. That is also what makes you you. You and nobody else. Nobody can replace you. You are irreplaceable. You are absolutely one of a kind. One of a kind. And as we continue breathing deeply into our belly, you might start to notice if we're standing, our feet on the floor, or if we're sitting body meets our seat, or if we're laying down, I feel the weight of gravity weighing us, bringing us, anchoring us into our bodies through our senses. And as we feel more into our senses, we can relax into trust, moving our body, allowing the energy to flow through you and to you, where you are more than your body, your aura expands outwards, as you breathe, you can feel your aura expand, <sighs> taking up the space around you. And you might start to notice this light emanating from every one of your cells. Yourselves. Ooh. Continue flowing and moving in that expansion. Maybe you start to notice your aura takes up even more space. Even more space. Hi, BB. Even more space. Until you feel your energy, your unique soul essence. Fill up the entire room that you're in, or if you're outside, the entire space around you. Can you feel your expansion? I'm gonna take an artichoke break. I have to keep filling up the water. Artichoke break. Can you feel your expansion as your aura extends outwards? affecting the people around you. Maybe if you live in an apartment building, your neighbors. Or maybe if you live in a house, your family. Or maybe if you're outside, maybe the random strangers. What does your energy feel like? What does your energy feel like? uninfluenced by your feelings, your emotions, the things that will always be changing and fluid. What is that core, that signature that you can tap into at any moment, any conscious breath? Can you spread that? Can you spread yourself with the world around you? And if you don't feel like sharing yourself with the world around you, that's okay too. Can you share yourself with yourself? Can you be there with 
your heart and listen to it beating in your chest. And as you exhale, can you release any heartache or traumas from past lovers? Can you inhale as you soften yourself? Softening the walls that surround you. The walls that have been erected for a very good reason. And we honor, we honor this. And also choose to release fear and past conditioning with each breath out and each breath in we tap into our unique frequency I don't want to say higher frequency because it's just your truth, the truth of your soul. Bringing yourself back into alignment with your truth. Feel guided, standing, swaying a little bit. Oh, that was my knee. Uh. <laughs> side to side. Continue breathing and anchoring yourself into this present moment. infinite realm that is contained within your breath. The realm of divinity that you can access. you choose to, but it has to be a choice, it has to be a choice made from your heart, and so I hope you feel empowered to live without fear in your truth. To live without judgment of self. You're so welcome, David. Thank you for being here. And as we live without judgment of self, we'll continue moving down our path. inspire and unconsciously unlock within others to do the same.